three, two, one. We are on. Tabitha Whitney. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you Thank so you. much for doing this. I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess to start this out, how we'll do it. I always forget to do that. I know. Like, I always wife, cheers and I, I know. Like, my wife yeah. yells at me all the all time. All the time. For that. Yeah. There we go. Okay, now we okay, can start. Now yeah. we can start. <laughs> Speaking of my wife, she's yes. the one that introduced me to you. Um, she, I was a big CrossFit guy, and she came. Uh, I would always tell her, try CrossFit, try CrossFit. And she said, you know what? I'm trying enough of your CrossFit. It's time to try some yoga. yoga. I said, oh, okay. And it, I didn't have this male chauvinist way of CrossFit. Mm-hmm. I mean, of uh, yoga. I just um, thought it would be boring. I did the P90X yoga and things like that. And I mm-hmm. thought, that's just boring. So we walk in and I say, okay, who, who's like, who's the yoga instructor? She goes, Tabitha. I go, oh, of course her name is Tabitha. That sounds so yoga-ish. Really? Absolutely. Don't you think? Tabitha. Maybe. Yeah. I was okay. like, of course. It's not just Jen. It's Tabitha. Okay. <laughs> you know? And then you walk and I'm thinking, okay, she looks like she knows what she's doing. And then we start going into it. And... Um, Without a doubt, it was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. Um, but I really enjoyed it because I think yoga, um, at least in my experience, it's one of those things where everything literally melts away and you're literally focused on whatever pose you have to try and do. You're focused on your movement, you're focused on your breath, and everything melts away. Mm-hmm. And Am I right to assume it, it just seems to me it's one of those things that you can never truly master? No, it's that's why they call it a practice. Okay, because you're just constantly. Oh practicing. yeah, and well, yeah. not just that. Like every day you show up to your mat and you're, you know, you're different. You feel different. Your mood's different. Your body's different. So it's never the same. You know, the same practice every right. day is different. Yeah. Um, D- Go ahead. Oh, no. Yeah. And then there's just stuff like there's stuff I'll probably never be able to do. Just, like what? And it's okay. Um, there's just like some core, like probably popping up into a handstand just from like pressing. Well, oh, see, now just, I had you down that you could do that. No, there's stuff that I probably never would. But just because I, mean, I had two big kids and uh, naturally and this, you know, I don't know, hernias <laughs> and what are they? No, yeah, hernias. That's a funny story. Go ahead. So, so um, when I first moved here. Uh, I had lost a lot of weight and all this, and I had a hernia here and it, okay. right at the top of my belly button, just a little one. So I went. Was to that get, from childbirth? Or? Um, yeah, from having okay. kids. I okay. had two like uh, almost ten pounders, and naturally big girls. But um, wow, ten pounders. Yeah. So yeah. my ex-husband was a tall guy, but uh, so uh, I went to the doctor, and she's like, "Okay, we'll call the surgeon. We'll see if it, you need to have a surgery." Yeah. So uh, I have like an umbilical hernia, and then I have another hernia right above the belly, but just tiny. Okay. And uh, but they're just kind of pushing out. So I went to the surgeon. I called. So I got in my car after leaving the doctor, and I called the, to make an appointment with the surgeon to yeah. have it looked at. So I call, and it's a Monday morning. This guy answers the phone, and and he's like, well, "What do you need to come in for?" And I said, "Well, I have a hernia." A hornia. A hornia, yeah. And uh, he goes, "Come again?" And I was like, "Actually, I have I have two horneas." And he's just like, "Silence." Was it, was like, that because you were horny at the time? No, no I don't know. Oh, I just, just, just it just came out. It was a Monday morning. I, okay. I you know, I was just, I don't know. I, I knew I was calling the surgeon to talk about my horneas. <laughs> so I I tell this guy, you know, I've got, and then I I caught myself. I'm like, it dawned on me that I said hornia instead of hernia. So anyways, he's like, you yeah. just totally made my Monday morning. Yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> yeah. He's so like, now oh, my best be friend, fun. Chris, and I, she does yoga as well. She's got her own yoga studio. And um, so every time we see she's like, how's your hornea How's your, horny how's your hornea? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Um, how did you, how'd you get in yoga? Um, I found yoga in California. We had moved from Connecticut. I was a modern dancer in Connecticut. A modern uh, dancer? What's professional a... modern dancer. I danced in a dance company. Um, so I was a hired dancer. Uh, modern dance is like a really artsy fartsy type of dance. Did you put on shows? Was it like, a, yeah, like stage we were, shows? Or we were, were you... a, a company, so we traveled and we performed at different places. Really? Yeah, and we put on shows and stuff in New Haven and Martha's Vineyard. And okay, so cool just so I understand, because I, I, I have no idea what modern dance is. Okay. Is that is that like you just like you just show up or are you like singing? Oh, it's Are you dancing behind singers? Like, uh, Oh, no, it's a choreographed dance it's movement so it's, oh just it's like just a regular okay dancers yeah on the stage and, and every dance has like its own story Does okay yeah yeah sense? yeah so 
So almost, it seems to me like going from dance to yoga, that was like a natural fit. It was cool. So um, we moved to California and I was dancing there and uh, I was carrying a box up the stairs, going to tuck my kids into bed and I slipped. I didn't put my foot on the step all the way and I went backwards with the box and broke my leg. Didn't know I broke my leg. I heard something. Got up, picked up the box, went and put it away. And then I tucked my kids into bed, went to bed. And then in the middle of the night, I got to use the restroom. And I fell on the floor and my leg wasn't working. Oh, my God. So, like, I think I really broke my leg. How did you do that? Um, like, just I just missed the step. No, no, I mean, like... I don't know. You I have hear a, really, a snap. I have a high tolerance for pain. Obviously. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, anyway, so anyway, I tucked my kids in, went to bed, could got up, couldn't go to the bathroom. And then, so I went... I, had hurt my leg and so after some time had passed um you know i put on a little weight and uh, my kids did mma and i was sitting there watching them and this girl came out she's like hey i'm i just was certified as a teacher a yoga teacher Uh she goes i need to practice would you any of you like to come take a free little class over in the next room and i was like sure i'll come over so I, you know, I was just healing up, whatever, and so I went over and I took this little class, my gra- this grandma and myself, just the two of us, huh. and uh, the girl that taught us her name was Emily, and I just love it was amazing, like just fell in love with it. It felt so good, and I asked her where she studied, you know, where she went and took yoga. And, right. Uh, was it hot yoga? Or was she it just yoga? no, it was just a nice little gentle yoga class in this okay. little side room. Yeah. And um, but then I became hooked on it. Like I wanted to know where she went. Where do you find this yoga stuff? I need this. Like I need this in my life. And did it feel like a connection? Like it was. It just like felt a... like my body could do it. I had the flexibility. You know. I, okay, so you looked at it, felt, it as it felt okay. great. I can do this. You know, it's like a dance. It, yeah. It's it felt like a dance to me. And um, so anyways, I started going to this studio down in Folsom, California, and mm-hmm. just completely obsessed. Like, I was literally going like three, four times a day. And now, this wasn't hot yoga yet. Yes, it was. Oh, hot it yoga. was hot oh, yoga. Oh, and it was very hot. Yeah. And I would put, I was so obsessed. Like, I would go two, three times a day. These are 75 minute classes. And I was so into classes. it. So into it. How much are the ones that we do? Uh, 60. Yeah, 60 minutes. Why are we little punk bitches? Why aren't, why aren't No, because most people can only handle handle, handle 60 minutes really? in my class. Well, that and then a lot of classes, like 10 minutes is dedicated to savasana, so you're laying around for like 8 to 10 minutes at the end. Taking a nap. Right. And so yeah. I, I just... Well, I mean, you, you peck a lot in 60 minutes, so I'm not yeah, going to complain. Exactly. I mean, you've kicked my ass. I made the mistake of, um, I think we were just warming up, and I thought... I was feeling particularly very good that day. And I remember looking at you and I went, come on, bring it. Yeah, you said, here we go. Yeah. And then I think <laughs> about 15, 20 minutes later, um, I was just, I was the one guy that just stops doing everything. And just, I had to catch my breath. Everything was, was, was not working. I couldn't balance. I couldn't. I couldn't fall, but I'm sorry. I totally interrupted. No, it's okay. Uh, I went ADD on no, you. No, I, um, I do that too. I'm like thinking of another story right now as well. Yeah. But um, so anyways, yeah, I found yoga. I was obsessed with it. There was this yoga studio in California. I would, Zuda, I was going there nonstop and yeah. uh, fell in love with it. And then I joined another yoga studio that was closer to my home and was loving that. Um, uh, went to Mexico and I was doing my yoga practice out in this like little hut out on the beach where they do massages during the day and I would beat the masseuse people, the massage people. So how long were you in Mexico? Um, Oh, no, we would vacation there. So I was on vacation in Mexico and um, uh, I was doing my yoga practice every morning. I would try to beat the people that set up the massage tables down there. It was this beautiful hut right on the beach, waves crashing. It was just amazing. Okay, so no classes, just you by yourself. So just me, myself, doing my yoga practice and uh, I was, I closed my eyes when I practiced and I'd been practicing for a while and I opened my eyes and there were people behind me in the sand doing yoga and at that very moment I realized it was time to become a teacher it was time for me to give back you get to this point with your practice where you're kind of like you're not bored but you kind of like it just kind of happened I saw these people in the sand doing yoga with me and uh, wow. so we moved here and that's how I, I ended up getting certified to be a teacher so what, what goes into certification do you have to do a bunch of practices um, or you have to go and you have to put in like 200 hours um, doing all this training and in stuff. front of a certain person well you got a, a yoga like a teacher training program so okay. I went and I paid to become a teacher um, I had a, a yoga studio in my house in Long Grove and um, I needed the certification, you know, to yeah. back up to the back yoga up practice doing, so yeah. I could do what I could do. Because it's, it's hard getting people into your home. Yeah, but usually I like to believe that the proof is in the pudding. Absolutely. Right? No one has ever asked to see my certification, 
ever. Ever? Never. I have well, my good. certificate. Yeah, it's somewhere. It's in one of my, <laughs> in my filing cabinet. But no one's never at Does like, that ever run out? Uh, no, no, no. I just keep adding my training hours onto there. So I go and I'll take workshops from different people. What's like, involved in a workshop? Um, like... Like I've got it, like a couple of favorite teachers that I'll if they're in the area I'll go and pay to take a workshop, an arm balance workshop, or just looking to pick up something new, okay, fresh to bring back as yeah. a teacher. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I've uh, I've really opened my eyes to yoga um, in terms of just I I don't think this is just my personal opinion in terms of that, but I was heavy heavy CrossFit, and you get to a point where your muscles get too too tight. Right. And too, uh, too, um, uh, I, yeah, just too tight. Rigid. And so, yeah, rigid. Thank mm-hmm. you. And it's just, it's hard to do certain movements without pain. And I feel like yoga, if anybody's doing any type of exercise, I think they definitely need to start doing yoga to incorporate that into their weekly fitness regime. Absolutely. You know, I think it's, it's, it's really helped me out. I have bad feet. So it's like, uh, like what I mean by bad feet is like my strength and my, my foot isn't good. I have flat feet. Mm-hmm. So um, I've realized that that's adding to my lower back pain. And, it's low, it's, and since I've been taking your classes, my lower back pain has gone away. Um, I'm feeling more flexible. I'm feeling that's more awesome. buoyant. I mm-hmm. guess you could say, like I could bounce real quickly, and when you're chasing around a little yeah, right. ten-year-old, I mean ten-year-old, ten-month-old, ten yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, it really helps. Yeah. So um, it's I just I can't talk enough about it. That's but, awesome. Um, and you're awesome. Me and my wife are always like, how does she hold that? And she just you're you're just walking, you're showing everybody else, and all of a you go into this to this, you just join right in, and we're like. It, I, it took me all of this flow and then I had to pick my leg up and sweep it through and then I can get in that position. But you just naturally go into it. It's amazing. It just feels It's good. fun to watch you actually. Thank you. Like sometimes I'll step back and just go, how's she doing that? Oh, that looks too easy. Okay. <laughs> you know, something comes over me sometimes when I'm uh, guys walk in the I felt really bad. Last week I was teaching my Wednesday 1130 lunchtime class and there was seven guys and one girl walks in like we had just started she was late she came in the room and I could just see she knows me and how like when there's guys in the class something comes over and I'm just like I want to show them I just want to show them like what how hard yoga can be oh okay. yeah I don't you know what something yeah. yeah I'm like guys come in and they think it's going to be some like relaxing I yoga class thousand you know, percent did. this and I don't yeah. do that and uh so anyway she walked in and she was like she like this I one's could, gonna hurt. This one's gonna hurt. Tab, tab's <laughs> gonna kick our butts because there's seven guys in here, and she was the right. only chick. But it ended up being a great class. And, yeah. Um, yeah. My favorite is I love uh, sound effects. So when people start moaning and grunting and groaning, I know I'm doing a damn good job. That's a, that's one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you had one, and I've been trying it, and I I doubt you know. It was probably the second time I ever took a class. You had a rap yoga thing going on. Okay. And you had us do a bunch of, um, I don't know what it's called. I call it yoga flow. It's just you, you come up, you reach the sky, you go, you bend forward, you then go into your... Sunday salutations. Yes. Right. You had us Where do you like... just go on your own. Yeah, yeah. And you had us do like, I think it was like five minutes and we just did as many as we could. Mm-hmm. Right. And you had this really good rap and it was motivating. It was, it was, awesome. it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. I always wanted to ask you, what was that song? Oh, I, wanted, I wish I could remember. No, I, I love music. I spend hours, hours listening for new music. And I try yeah. to find music that people don't really know or music that doesn't have words right. um, or instrumental hip hop music. Right. I love Just that. to get, get you in that zone. Yeah. Like one song came on recently, Jordan, you know, who Jordan teaches out on the yes. other side. Yes. So anyways, one song came on and oh God, it's a, it's a song out called Thought Tiana, which is like, you know. Okay. Being a thought is not a good a good thing as a woman. So, anyways, no, no, the, no, 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 no. Let's go back to that. So what? what is that? A thought. A thought. A thought a is thought like is a not... thought is like um like something a man would just like throw to the curb when he's done, you know, with this type of woman. So right. Oh, so okay, anyway, okay. so this song came on, and Jordan looks at me, and she's like, "No, Tabitha, not this song." And I looked at Jordan. She was taking my class, and yeah. I looked at her. I said, it's the instrument, instrumental version. So <laughs> there were no bad words. Oh, so, yeah, 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 yeah. I see. Yeah, so oh, I don't okay. like, so like when my music, I don't like to, uh, 
I don't like to plant seeds like with words and bad like I don't like to have cuss words and songs when makes you teach sense. and stuff. Yeah, because it, when like, you're getting into yoga, it's 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 you get into your own personal. Yeah, zen, you right? want to have fun, but you don't want to like hear all these bad words and you right. know nasty things. I don't like to like play love songs, anything about love or anything. I like to just keep it really so neutral. Yeah, and really wherever neutral, but somebody wants awesome to go, music. they go. I yeah. love music. I yeah. agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. I think it adds a certain flavor or a certain spice sure. or a, a, definitely a motivation yeah. for sure. Um, <laughs> so you, uh, my wife said that you grew up in Hawaii. Is that true? That's Hil- not true. No, Hilton Head. My dad lives in Hawaii. You Hilton Head what? Uh, South Carolina. South Carolina. Right. Oh, you sounds like you've been everywhere. Mm-hmm. South Carolina, Connecticut, you said California. Uh, born in Maryland. We moved to Montana. And then we moved to Beaufort, South Carolina. And then we moved to Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. What'd your dad do? Uh, he was in construction. Okay. So yeah. he just he was just going where the jobs were or opportunities. Yeah. Was. Yeah. The snow was there was just so much snow in Montana when I was little and um, back then, that's when it was really dumping a yeah. lot of snow. Yeah. Um, so uh, we ended up, they went to the library, my parents did, and um, they saw this job opportunity on Hilton Head Island, South Carolina, and they packed everything up, and we moved across country. We drove, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and my dad was in a big hurry to get there, too. Oh, so there was like... So we were peeing in cups and throwing it out the window. Shut up. <laughs> no, we had an orange uh, Chevrolet Bronco. Orange and white, okay. big, you know, jacked up. Well, at least it wasn't tires. a white Bronco. No, my dad was into like, you know, mud driving and stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, um, yeah, Montana, yeah. so he yeah. had a big, the mud wheels on it and stuff. But uh, yeah, so we, there was no stopping. So they were like, be in the cups and throw it out. And so it matched the car, so that was good. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. But yeah, so it was kind of funny. And yeah, so the Mayflower truck. They had one of those big Mayflower trucks yeah. moved, moved us. And, I, and when I was a kid, every time I saw a Mayflower truck, I was like, that's the truck. That's the truck that moved us. I didn't realize that there's like a fleet oh, of Oh, there's trucks. a fleet of trucks. Yeah, I, I thought okay. there was just one. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's funny. That's hilarious. What what was your uh, what was your favorite? Out of all the places you've been, what's your favorite? Uh, favorite place that I've lived? Um, I would definitely say uh, Northern California. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, Northern California is nice. What yeah. part of Northern California? Uh, we were in El Dorado Hills, so we were in the foothills uh, on the way up to Lake Tahoe. Okay, is the, that now? I, I'm very bad geography wise for um, California. Is that past San Francisco? So we're east of Sacramento. East of Sacramento. And east okay. of San Francisco. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it is it as expensive to live up there now? Oh sure, yeah, it's, it's it was still expensive. Really expensive. But I think the Midwest is the most expensive place we've ever lived, like tax huh. wise, yeah. like, between Connecticut, California, and then here. Wow, he must yeah. have had an interesting childhood in terms of just from Montana, like the open range to Connecticut. Seems like I've heard Connecticut's really boring. No, it was awesome. It was? I loved living there. Yeah, yeah. I, I moved there. A uh, good friend of mine. Uh, I was in college and uh, I couldn't afford to stay there. And my best friend was at Yale, and we graduated from Hilton Head Prep, a private school on Hilton Head. And Did you have to wear a uniform? Uh, at the prep school, no, no. no. Okay. But yeah, we had like a standard, so we couldn't wear some things. But no. um, so, anyways, so those girls are always the most fun, aren't they? Well, our school was very small, so there was only like twenty something people in my graduating class. So it was How many? Twenty-two. Uh, I want to think. Twenty-two. Yeah. I had thirty-two in okay. Williams Bay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, wow. Really I've small. never met anybody that uh, I beat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. And most of them. Uh, most of the kids in our senior class were foreign exchange students. So. Oh. Yeah. A lot of them after they graduated, they went back, and most of them um, had to go back and actually do a whole senior year in back in their countries because this didn't really count. They came to work on their English. Really? Mm-hmm. Or their sports. Some of them were tennis pros, golf pros. So they were over wow. here doing that. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. That's Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, so I yeah. made a lot of interesting friends. In I'm school. sure you did. I'm yeah. sure that, that you had a well-rounded understanding of the world, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, it was cool. And I lost my southern accent pretty quickly, too. Like, being on Hilton Head. You had a southern accent? Oh, yeah. Oh, I like, love southern accents. When I'm around people in, from the south, it comes back. and I don't, I don't even know who I am. Y'all. Y'all, yeah. yeah y'all, too. The hey, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Sweet tea. Mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> it comes back. But, um, so, yeah. So, I lived on Hilton Head. I went to school in North Carolina. I uh, lived in uh, New York City briefly, Connecticut. Wow, so Orlando, you are... Orlando, Florida, Atlanta, Georgia. 
I've lived in a lot of places. Wow. The farthest I've gone to is Wisconsin, and um, we live in Beaufort, Georgia. Mm-hmm. That's it. Oh, and that, that's true. We had about six weeks six weeks in Japan. Okay. That's cool. It was really cool. I yeah. didn't think it was... Uh, it, it's it's really cool. I don't... I mean, I could go into that forever, but it's uh, it was a really cool experience. I'm glad I did it. Hmm. Really hot, though. Yeah, in Japan? So, yeah, very hot. Like, change my clothes three times a day just because I walk around hot. Like, Interesting. not even workouts or anything, just hot. I haven't been there yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's a, it's a rainforest. Mm-hmm. So... My dad, uh, being over in Hawaii, he travels over that way a lot because yeah. it's so quick to get over that way. Yeah. How'd you like Hawaii? He he likes it. He's been there a long time now. Uh, how long? Yeah. Oh, I think he's been like 18 years. I'm 18 say. years. Oh, yeah. man. He was on the big island. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. We like Kauai. That's our favorite. Oh, That's our favorite amazing. island. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. I think there's a couple of islands we're not allowed to go to. We need permission, right? Isn't that how that works? I don't know. You need certain permission to go on to certain islands? I haven't heard that yet. Because of the natives? I don't want to say the natives. The, well, I guess they are natives, but they're uh, they're very strict on who comes onto that their those uh, islands. I haven't heard that before. No, no. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's bullshit. I don't know. I've heard, I've gone <laughs> to thought, like yeah. Have you gone to all of them? No, not all of them. Oh. but I've got friends that go to different islands, and, and they've never had. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, then, yeah. Then I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Don't okay. worry about me. Um, so you 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 finally somehow <laughs> make it here to yoga, like yeah. to Illinois. Did you start Crave Yoga here? I did. You did? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I had a yoga studio in my home um, when I was married, and um, it was awesome. I had people coming to the house. And... Was it hot yoga there? Yes. So I you had... had a special room. Right. I had just... radiant heat panels. I could fit, uh, fit like 16 people in the room, and um, it was wow. amazing. 113 degrees. It was beautiful. It was all windows. It was yeah. Really pretty. Um, private. And I did private lessons out by our pool and stuff. So it was really cool. Do you only do hot yoga? Uh, no, I teach all types of yoga. Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I want to talk about types yeah. of yoga. Yeah. Well, I, I don't teach like all the types, but yeah. I teach like restorative yoga. What's that? What's restorative? It's just restored. Um, it's just stretching. A lot of stretching. Um, Flexibility. Things yeah. Like that. Nice and slow. I uh, see so you hold poses a little longer. Um, do you find that boring? No, no, I think it's the way I teach. I'm not uh, a really fluffy type of teacher. Like, I don't no, use a lot of... No, you're definitely not fluffy. I don't use a lot of words, so, and I don't like to tell... I, uh, I only speak when something, like, it feels like the right moment to say something. Okay. So, I use few words when I teach. I mostly just tell people to move their bodies, but... Um, so, but yin, and then yin yoga is the same yin? thing. Yin? Okay. Which is similar to restorative. Um... Yeah, so those are like those vinyasa, yin, and restorative. Those are like my favorite Your favorite types ones? of yoga, yeah. Have you heard of goat yoga? I've seen it. I haven't done that. I've seen it too. I'm good. I don't need a goat. I, I've seen I think they're creepy. I've actually <laughs> I've actually seen... Their eyes scare me. Like I watch... Well, what worries me the most is... Yeah, their eyes are a little crazy, aren't they? They're a little creepy. Yeah. yeah. Um, the, <laughs> when they jump on you, I don't... It, it would take me out of my... The Zen state. It would take yeah. me out of that flow. It would take me, especially if I I hear like it pissing or mm-hmm. it drops its little pellets. Right. You know that would really, it would really it becomes a health hazard. I would think. I would think. I don't know. I'm not into that yeah. animal and yoga thing. So here's yeah. one. Yo, have you ever heard of high yoga? High. High yoga. Uh-uh. High, like you get high. high no. Yoga. No. Uh-huh. You haven't heard of that either. No. Okay. I I was looking. I think it's just you get high and you do yoga. I think that's what it is. I've, I'm not sure taught yoga to people that are high yeah, <laughs> yeah. have you ever gotten it's, high it's a challenge yoga? my class is definitely even more challenging if you're high yeah so, I've, yeah. yeah i found it's i need really to really tough. focus it's tough on... to balance when you're stoned so yeah. yeah i've taught to groups of people outside and some of them have been stoned and that's their thing have you ever done it high no i don't do any drugs you don't do any no, no marijuana into, nothing like that no drugs nothing at just advil <laughs> just advil <laughs> just advil <laughs> um <laughs> So then you've never done, I'm assuming, Kundalina? Kundalini. No, Kundalini. not my type of yoga. Not your type of yoga. No. Is that like the one where you, with your breathing techniques and certain poses, you get into a hallucinated state? Yeah, I think they do a lot of like circular. And I don't want to. That, I don't bu- even is know. Is that bullshit or is it? I don't know. I'm not. I've just never tried it. You never tried right, it. Right. So I, I can No comment. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I, yeah, I, I have respect know. for them though, because it's it's something I don't do. Yeah. Um, and 
I have ultimate memories. But I have a, one of our teachers that teaches that in the other studio. She takes my class from time to time. And she does it. And she teaches the Kundalini okay. in the other studio. From what I understand, yeah. Kundalini is like very tough. Like you have, to, it takes many practices to get to. I'm sure that state. Mm-hmm. I, I guess I don't know a lot about it, but I thought you would. Yeah. But, well, she finds my class really challenging, so I'm sure. Well, yeah, I, would find I don't. Her class I don't. Very challenging. I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't think you'd find anybody that would be done with your class and would sit there and say, "Well, that was and that sucked," or that. <laughs> I've never heard anybody walk away. I've seen people literally walk out of your class and quit because yeah. it's too much. I've seen that. Um, how does that make you feel? What's that? You, when they walk out, are you like, yes? Kind of like, you know it's hard? or No, when people leave the room? Yeah, because they... No, I feel, I feel I've, a lot of people want to come and try the heat, and I uh-huh. think a lot of people can't take the heat. Um, How hot is for it their mean? own reasons, 100. And our studio at, at uh, Sky Fitness and Agni, it's 106. I said it to. Um, Can you get it hotter? Oh, sure, but it doesn't need to be. The problem is the humidity. There's a humidity system and the heat, and it's like a science project. So you yeah, have to, like, to especially with the weather out. changing now, it's getting warmer. So I'm pulling the humidity down and really watching that heat because you don't want people to start passing out, you know? Yeah, you got to start. I, I didn't even think that you have to figure out that. Like, what What do you think the perfect type is? 106? Um, I want to. F- Five. I like 105 is nice. I set it to 106, but with the door opening and closing and people going to the restroom and stuff, the yeah. temperature goes from like, it fluctuates from 101 to 105, but it's always above 100 for sure. All right. Yeah. So you have your own practice mm-hmm. and you do house calls, right? Yes. Okay. So here's, right. anytime I hear anybody that goes to somebody else's house, I always have uh, two stories mm-hmm. or I always, ask, I'm sorry, I always ask two questions. The okay. first question is, have you ever gone to a hoarder's house? No. No. Okay. No. That's that's not that's good. I'm thinking about that, yeah. No. I, I think it would be. I think it would be almost impossible to do yoga in a hoarder's house. Yeah, that would be pretty to think gross. Of it now. Yeah. yeah, I haven't experienced that. Yeah. Um, have you ever gone to an extremely um, dirty house where you saw like a cockroach running across? No, no dirty houses. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then you you kind of walk in there, look around, and go, no. Well, I'm kind of like a. Price point wise, kind of a certain type of person can afford a, a, okay. a type of service um, coming into their home. Um, usually, these type of people, you know, have housekeepers or mm-hmm. you know, so okay. they're, they're used to hiring services coming okay. to their homes. But uh, I've had some funky experiences. Can absolutely. you tell a story? Um, yeah, this one gentleman. He was really, really nice. He was. Oh, really, it always starts out like that. Really nice guy, <laughs> <laughs> older man, and he had a roommate, and the roommate had a dog, and he kept locking the roommate's dog in the roommate's room, and the dog was just jumping and jumping on the door and just scraping and scraping. Oh. So the whole hour, so I'm he never minded like that didn't bother him at all. Yeah. So I was trying to be professional and act like it wasn't happening, but it's really hard to teach like a yin yoga class a restorative yoga class very quiet and calm um when this is happening so uh I, we had a bunch of sessions and we ended up not he called he's like my roommate told me i can't do this anymore because the dog's going crazy and right. really tearing apart the door but um he was an alcoholic and it was really sad he i i have a a talent for massage okay. but i don't that's not something i ever studied or anything i just have a big I have strong hands. So uh, anyway, so he always wanted me to like give him a nice massage at the end. Okay. And this one time it was really creepy. He was an alcoholic and... Um, oh, he wanted more. His feet is... I, I think he, he walked around and he bumped into things when he was drunk. Drunk. Yeah, so and he had like his... bl- bloody toenails and stuff. And he uh, asked me to rub his feet one uh, time. Uh, and I know. I just couldn't do that. So that was like right before our so last So you said session. no. No, I'd be happy to rub your shoulders though. <laughs> yeah, or your hands. But um, yeah, so, I've had some funky people. That uh, have you ever had? Because I'm, I'm sure. Um, have you ever had somebody mistake your intentions? Like, because um, for example, the first time I went to class, I think I was in some sort of position, and you straightened me out, mm-hmm. and or you put some sort of oil on my chest, and it felt like Vicks. Okay. Okay. Has anybody mistaken that for special attention and they thought, oh, she's hitting on me? Well, I maybe goof-wise. Like, I had one guy. 
um, he, he's from Sky Fitness. He's, he's a really fun, awesome guy, older man. He, he always takes his shirt off in the back of the room. Yeah. So anyways, and he always has a tan. He's always down in Florida. I won't say his name. But he's really cool. So anyways, he's he pops in from time to time when he's in town. And he yeah. took the class. And one time I was massaging him or whatever. And he opened his eyes and he grabbed my wrist. And he goes, what are you doing tonight? Oh, okay. <laughs> so he's like, having fun with he you. He was okay. just goofing okay. with okay. me. That's yeah, cool. yeah. I was like, cool. But no, um, yeah, probably. When I first, um, when I was just newly divorced, um, I tried a, a regular job. Yeah. Um, I thought I had to go out and get like a you know nine to five job. And I tried that, and it just, it was awful. My kids live with me full time. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't, my one day off was Mondays. And I came home, and I saw all my yoga stuff in my garage. And I'm like, well, you are not doing your passion. And so I called my boss at this new job, and she knew. She yeah. knew I wasn't doing what I love yeah. to do. And she was like, just go. Go go do your passion. So that's when I decided to take Crave Yoga, um, my LLC, and, and turn it into a mobile business. So I call up my old students and stuff that used to come to my house. Yeah. And uh, next thing you know, it's it's word of mouth. My company is very word of mouth. Um, some people find me online, right? but um, they usually end up not being the right people. Right. So yeah, I find that word of mouth is the best. Yeah, it's... Um... So yes, I did have this one guy that... I, so I started doing yoga in my garage. So I would leave the door open, and I would have people come over for yoga in my okay, garage. Yeah. And but I did have this young guy one time. He definitely, I think he thought it was like a yoga Tinder thing or something like that. It was uncomfortable. Yoga Tinder. Yeah. Was he saying anything like? Was was he saying anything, or was it just the way yeah, he just he just, just kind of came creepy. in? Yeah, he was just kind of the way he was staring me down and stuff. It was really uncomfortable. Yeah, I bet that would. So be. So that didn't happen again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. We, we shut the garage door then? Uh, or we just well, after he left, I to... shut the garage door. Yeah. <laughs> Never opened that again. Okay. Yeah. Um, you, you went back to uh, that you just, it wasn't your passion. Um, that what you, that job you got, you realized it wasn't your passion, that yoga is your passion. Right. And I think, I think it's a really important point. I think there's too many people in this world who y- you kind of get stuck and you kind of get in this little, um, this little rut where, you're putting off your passion because oh, you just got to handle this or you just got to do this. And right. then when you have the time, you'll hit your passion. And next thing you know, 20, 40 years go by and you never hit your passion. Mm-hmm. Um, I think, I think that's a, that's, that's a, that's a powerful thing. And I think not a lot of people follow their passion. Was it scary trying to set up your own? Absolutely. Yoga? Well, I was a stay at home mom for 18 years. Okay. Um, and an artist. So I love art. I make all kinds of stuff and sell it. Cool. So that was fun. Have you noticed my walls are quite bare here? Yeah. <laughs> so if you, if you want any, if you uh, if you got any art that you want to get rid of, okay, let me know, or cool. I'll buy some, or I'll make you something. That'll work. Yeah. yeah. So um, so I did that for a long time, and but yeah, the passion thing, you know, you you think that the as a woman, I don't know, I felt like I had to do something better, bigger, like. I don't know, my ex-husband, it's a little terrible to say this, but he keeps telling, well, he would tell me that yoga is not a career. Yoga is not a job. Get a real job. Yeah. And it is a, it is a job. It's a service. I'm offering a service. Does to- that piss you off? That Hell yeah, it does. Off. It that really pisses me off. me off. Like, you know, I went to school for dance and musical theater, and then I was a mom for 18 years. Right, you know, I'm yeah. still a mom. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't, what would I, I don't know what I would go out and do. So I, I tried this job and it just, it wasn't me at what all. What was it? Can you say? Um, yeah, I really would rather not, but, um, yeah, I did, I tried this job and it just wasn't for me at all. And, right. um, I'm really excited that I decided to do this. It's paying the bills and I'm having fun doing it and I meet amazing people and I'm surrounded by awesome, like-minded people every day. Well, not only you, your true self comes out. Thank you. You know, you're not dying. No. You know what I mean? You're not slowly dying. Like, I can't imagine. I mean, there, there's days I'm like, oh, God, how am I going to do of course, this? Because you're yeah, I'm human. Tired. Those are yeah, days, right? right? But you're tired. You're not tired because some micromanaging boss is in your face right. or he's over your shoulder or you're stuck in a cubicle talking to Glenn over here and Glenn sucks because all he does is, you know, talk about how his life sucks. It's, I get to set my own hours. Yeah, you and... get that artificial lighting beating down on you all day. Yeah, right. that's, that's a rough way to go. Yeah. And, um, I I, I I truly believe that, you know, if, if you're not, to anybody out there listening, and I'm not much of a motivational guy, but mm. what I'm doing right now, this is a passion of mine. Right. And I feel better doing it. And I feel that you need to go out and do what you feel 
is your passion, whatever your calling is, go out and take it. And if you can't do it full time, mm -hmm. then start taking little stabs at it. Like create momentum, get somebody, rolling with somebody it. Somebody told me um, once a couple years ago, uh, like six years ago, just say yes. Just say yes to all these That's new opportunities great. that come your way. That's a great point. The good ones, of yeah, course. Of course yeah. yeah. But I've been saying yes. I just keep saying yes. And even some of the things I was kind of iffy on, and you know, they weren't that great, but I said yes. And then it creates this chatter. You know, people talk, or oh, I met this person, or she taught me yoga here, or she does this. Yeah. It just, it's just like a snowball effect. And it just keeps coming in. Like the other day, I, um, uh, I lost a class uh, over at Sky Fitness. It's just that the time isn't doing right, and then the parking is really bad there because it's under construction and stuff. Yeah, that is pretty. So bad. I, you know, we, my boss and I agreed that let's give this time a break, and we'll try another time mm -hmm. when we have more parking. Yeah. So I was really bummed out. It's you know I'm a state, I'm not a stay at home mom, but I'm a mom, and I need to make money, and I need to pay my bills. And right. Yeah. So I was like, the thought of losing another class this really bites. So next thing you know, I'm just like, I'm cleaning house and my phone just starts blowing up. I, this company found me on um, this yoga website that I'm on and they are, I have an interview uh, Monday morning Cool. on the phone. So and like, it's wild. Like when one, you know, opportunity, when one, one door, door shuts, closes, another one yeah. opens and Absolutely. it's always the same day and it's, it's well, really cool. Well, I also think that's mindset. Absolutely. You know, I think if, if you look at the world, like... Like, um, there's a friend of mine, uh, she's probably one of the most positive people I've ever met. And mm -hmm. if I could tell you her history, which I'm not going to, but if I could, you would sit there and think, why would she be happy? There's mm -hmm. all this shit always going on. Oh, absolutely. And everybody has shit going on. Some's is worse than the others. But I noticed that people will, there's people that get mad when it rains and there's people that are like, oh, hey, you know, the world needs water. Right. You know, I and I case. think I think if you have that positive mindset where you're just you're open to new opportunities, yeah, stuff bums you out, mm -hmm. but you don't carry that bum out all day. Like you don't carry that bum with you all day. Right. You know, you find something else. So I think that's really positive, and um, I think that's that's it's a shame people don't look at the world a little more positively. I think mm -hmm. it'd be a better place. I think so too. How long do you practice yoga? You yourself. Like when you do any little private workout sessions, are they? Um, I'll do like an hour. Just an hour? Yeah. Do you do hot yourself. yoga or do you just, wherever you are, you just throw it on hot the mat? Hot yoga. Hot yoga. Yeah, I prefer so, a warm room because it just it helps with the flexibility and being more open. And I um, tend to get injured when I'm teaching yoga in a, a non hot room. I was just going to ask that. How yeah. many people get injured um, at hot yoga? Not a lot, right? No, I really, none of my students, they're all, they keep coming back. So, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's that's working. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is yoga for everybody? Um, I, I guess it depends on your, your physical history. Mm -hmm. You know, it might not be for everybody. Right. Um, Have you ever worked with someone and thought, yeah, this just isn't for you, bud? No. No? No. Are you very selective with your clients? Um... Probably more now than I ever have been. Yeah, okay. I've had some interesting encounters. There's some freedom with that. Yeah, yeah. Recently, I any had, any I had good this, interesting encounters? Oh, I had this woman up um up in Gurney, and I was driving pretty well, that's far. Your, that's your I was driving that's far to her. She, she's a very wealthy woman in, in this big home by herself with her housekeeper and all that, and she was just a handful, and. Uh, mm. So this one day, I was supposed to go to her, and she was like, I've got to sit and talk to my daughter. It's her 50th birthday surprise party or whatever. We're putting yeah. it together. And she goes, so you can come in, and you can sit and uh, listen to your music. And then she texted me back. She goes, no, actually, um, that, that would really interrupt us uh, if you could sit and just play on your phone. <laughs> like well, okay. I'm not she's like I won't be able to start you know with you on time so if you could just sit and play wow. on your phone that would be great so I wrote to her and I said I'll sit in my car and when you're ready for your lesson you can come out and just tell me you're ready and we'll yeah. have a shorter lesson so I'm not gonna walk out there <laughs> so I'm like then she's like no so then she calls me but she calls me and she's like my housekeeper will do yoga with you until I'm ready and I was like, she didn't sign my waiver. I'm like, I'm not doing yoga with your housekeeper, lady. So that's when I told her that our relationship was over. Wow, that but poor housekeeper. She was a, a very interesting woman. Yeah. Did you ever see Will and Grace? Um, the show, yeah, I watched yeah. it from time to Remember time. Remember Karen, I believe her name is? She had that the short brown hair. Yeah. Yeah. And she had the uh, maid. 
and she bossed around. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see that that made yeah. would be like that with this her. woman. Yeah, it was yeah. it was very interesting. I've had some interesting characters. I've had <laughs> people spit on me. I've had people throw water bottles at me. Spit on you. Yeah, I've had people just drop down on the yoga mats and start crying. Like, I've had some crazy people. <laughs> Why would they fucking just, cry? It's just, I don't know. You just, just get some interesting people that can You think it's people afford... that get in, they, get into, they get into their head a little bit? I don't know. I don't Me? know. I think some of these people should be paying, paying for therapists, not a yoga teacher. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's funny. Uh, I get um, a lot, a lot of interesting people. That we, way. we definitely, I think Ursula and I look at that as our little. It's, be, it, it's become our date night, which is or our date time. That's but awesome. We get into this, um, we get into this, this. I guess this. It's kind of therapy for us. Like I said, mm-hmm. it, just, it drops everything out, and you're not worried about the outside world. You're worried about surviving the heat. <laughs> and uh, when do I get a break to grab water? And right. how long can I hold this? And you know, that's awesome. So, um. Uh, I think we've hit every question we have here. I have some funny stories. Go for it. Okay. Oh, actually, one question real okay, quick. Okay, yeah, sure. Diet. Do you have any... Do you think diet Do you think diet would work? What... Do you follow a diet right now or no? No. Okay. No. I did eat, you? I ate meat. Um, I, I ate meat. I did here. I did uh, in California. I hit this moment after breaking my leg and all that. I okay. put on some weight and I ended up doing this diet and I lost a, a bunch of weight and won this weight loss contest and I was a spokesperson for the company. Really? Yeah. Uh, HCG Activator. They're out of uh, Colorado. What was the diet? Um, yeah, it is a 500 calorie diet. A five? Uh-huh. What are you doing? You eat 500 meat, vegetables, calorie. and fruit. It's actually pretty amazing. I ate a lot of food, but it's 500 calories. You can actually eat quite a bit of lettuce. <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, broccoli you can. too. Yes, and broccoli and yeah, asparagus um, and Brussels sprouts. So you sprouts. ate clean. You yeah, ate clean. super clean. Yeah. yeah, no drinking. Like, yeah. yeah, it was awesome. I lost a lot of weight. How'd you feel in terms um, of just I felt great. mental clarity? I felt great, but I look back at the photos. I just didn't like how my face was very drawn out. Okay. Um, I just looked too thin. I, I lost a lot of my curves and um, just I didn't like the way my body looked. So 500 calorie diet for the day? Um, I, I did it for four months. You're talking about per day? Mm-hmm. You could only have 500, 500 calories. calories? Yeah. Oh it's, my god! It's a very tedious um, measuring plan. system. And... Yeah, you get used to it. It was awesome. I, I really? loved it. Yeah, I, I really don't think loved I could it. Function at five hundred calories. I lost ten pounds the first week. I'm sure. Yeah, it was probably yeah. all water, but whatever. It but it worked. It was amazing. It was. It was. I lost thirty two pounds in the first month. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Would you recommend that or no? Yeah, for certain people, like depending. Just five hundred calories doesn't seem like a lot to function on it, daily. I did great. Yeah. Yeah, and I was doing hot yoga, but I was doing one hot yoga class a day because you can't uh, spend too many calories exercising, and then because you're not getting enough calories eating. Right. Yeah. Right. So you have to be careful with. How that. many calories you burn in hot yoga? Um. Somebody told me recently they had one of those uh, uh, apple thingies on their wrist, and yeah. it's like three hundred and something calories. Three hundred calories during my class. Yeah. It feels like a lot more. It does, right? <laughs> yeah. It does. It kicks your ass. I it was does. shocked at how much it kicks your ass. Mm-hmm. And it, again, it's like one of those things where if you don't feel up to it today, I, I still say show up and do your best. And the days you feel like it, really try to stretch out or hold that pose longer and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, okay. So what diet... So I guess, would you say that that 500 calorie diet is best for yoga or it just depends on person? No, I, it was just something I was going through okay. and I tried it and it worked. It was good. It worked for the time. And then, I don't know. I just, you wanted a fucking donut. You no, know, I just, I don't know. I just liked, I love seafood. I like steak. Like, so yeah. I just eat normal. You like food. margaritas? No, I'm not a really sugary drink kind of a person. Is that a sugary drink? Margaritas? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, kind of got all yeah. the sweet and sour stuff yeah. and all that in there. I guess but. I like sugary drinks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a new uh, restaurant called Bar Taco in Deer Park. Oh, cool. And it's really good. It's like street tacos. Oh, I'll have to try it. And they serve probably the best margarita I've ever had. Oh, I'll have to try that. Yeah. Um, I will have one from time to time. But yeah, yeah I'm more of like um, I don't know, red wine, beer, maybe. Um, red wine's good. A French martini or something from time to French time. French martini. What's the difference? Like, what's a French martini? Uh, French martini is vodka with Chambord. And, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Cool. It's, it's a little sweet, but not All too right. bad. All right. Story time. Go. Okay. So, uh, stories. What could I tell you? So, funny story. I was yeah. in Mexico. Um, 
and on vacation and I wanted to take the yoga out on the beach one morning so I went out to take this yoga class and the wind was blowing the waves were crashing and this teacher had an accent a very very thick accent I don't know where she was from okay. um, but there are like 20 something of us out in the sand doing yoga and okay she, so you weren't leading the class no, she was, I was a student okay. so she was far far away and I could hear her talking and she kept saying something over and over again and I just kept giggling because I'm like what the hell is this woman saying so she got closer and closer and it still sounded the same she kept saying a focus on your twat focus on your twats focus on your twats and i'm just like what is she saying focus on your twats and she was saying focus on your thoughts but her accent oh was God. so thick. She That's was saying, awesome. fuck us on your twat. Yeah, how so could you not? the whole week, all I did was fuck us on my twat. So <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Right. Yeah, I, I won't. That's one story. All right, another story. Uh, Accents are hard, man. Yeah, it was Especially. a pretty, she was like Venezuelan or something like that. She was a beautiful woman, but her accent was, we were cracking up. I'm just sure. The, the fuck I'm sure. Were, were, you, were you, was that like one of your friends going on in like a yoga retreat? Or no, like, no, just, I was on vacation. Oh, just Yeah, vacation. just hotel so yoga. you were just, just that, that, went, would, that was the uh, theme for the rest of the Yeah, vacation. the whole week was fuck us on your twat. Fuck us yeah. on your twat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So, um, like that. another one, uh, the Weston Hotel. I was, uh, um, Chicago? No, in Schaumburg. Okay. So part of my business is I take uh, yoga to people's homes, uh, corporations, schools, camps, uh, you name it. Basketball camp. I was at a basketball camp last Wednesday in Winnetka. How many people have you taught? What's the biggest class you've ever taught? A uh, hundred. You know? A hundred? Were yeah. you nervous? No, I love it. You're never nervous? Oh, I get excited. I'm like ham. I mean, I grew up on stage. I was in theater and dance. and I You're in your element. Sing, dance, act. Like, I love yeah. being in front of people. So... I asked you a question, I think it was our third time, my third time doing it. If you come in with a set plan, no. or if you go in with just a flow of, you look around the room and you go, all right, today we're using blocks, and we're just going to flow from there. Right. Today, oh, today was fun. So one of my students, uh, Jason, he's lost 20-something pounds taking my yoga class. And Really? Uh, yeah. He... Uh, it was actually my birthday, April 18th, and he gave me, he came in after everyone left and he handed me this card, and I thought it was like a birthday card. Yeah. And he he didn't know it was my birthday. And he, Today's your birthday? No, April 18th was. Oh, so, yes. No, last um, month In ago. April. Yeah, last, yeah, last month. So anyway, so he hands, he hands me this card, and he's like, I just wanted to thank you. He goes, because of your classes, I've lost 22 pounds. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. I'm like, yeah. you look great, Jason. Yeah. And he's like, so. Anyways, he handed me this card. I packed up the studio, went in my car, and I opened it, and this $100 bill fell out. And he wrote, like, the coolest thank you note. It was just so awesome. He's like, awesome. thanks for touching my wet, sticky toes and <laughs> putting me in a reverse Heimlich maneuver. And, right. like, it was really cool. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Jason. It was really awesome. I'm really proud of him. Uh, so, anyways, this morning he was coming into the studio. And I'm like, hey, what do you think? We're, how should we start the practice today? So, I asked him. I'm like, how are we, we going to start? He goes, let's start on our backs. It's that kind of a morning. I'm like, all right, done. That's how we're starting class. So sometimes I just like to ask people how they're feeling. I look around the room and just kind of gauge like who's there, what we're gonna do, you know. Uh, it, 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 it just happens. Without a doubt, you are in your element for sure. Totally. For sure. And so funny story. Yeah. One more. Okay. So no, I was uh, Weston Weston Hotel and um, uh, Abbott uh, Abbott Animal Health had hired me to teach yoga uh, to their employees before their meeting started for okay. the. There was a week long thing. And they wanted yoga two days in a row at 5.30 in the morning. And all their people had traveled from all over the place to stay at the hotel. Uh -huh. And uh, so I brought everything. I bring the yoga mats, the blocks, the straps, the towels, the water bottles, like everything. And I set up a full yoga studio yeah. in one of the ballrooms. And uh, so I got there at 3.30 in the morning. And I set up this whole, two days in a row, set up this whole studio. And then people start trickling down. And they're, you know, picking out a yoga mat where they want to be. And so I started teaching, and I was way up front, and they're all out there, 100 people. And uh, I knew the, the boss because I had done some private lessons with her. Okay. Uh, she was the president of this company. So uh, the whole row was all guys, the whole front row. 
So I started to teach. And Uh-oh, I'm, that's a bad sign. Right? I was a little nervous. I'm like, all these guys, you know, in the front row, right? And you, you know, the guys, they kind of stick together, you know? Yeah, They're they like, do. we're in this together, you yeah, know? Yeah. So um, so anyways, that started. And then, so we we got through that, two days of that. And then uh, a week later, uh, Julie gave me a call. And she's like, I, I got to tell you something. She's like, you got all those guys hooked on yoga. And she's like, they're all traveling for work. And they're finding yoga everywhere they're going. Yeah, and I'm like, great. that's so cool, right? Yeah, so I'm absolutely. like, that's awesome. She goes, yeah. but it wasn't your yoga that got them hooked and i'm like oh oh they oh. thought you were hot no she oh. said it was the moaning she said i was moaning <laughs> you were moaning? i was moaning because i didn't have time to stretch i literally set up that room oh, no. got on my yoga mat and started work <laughs> and it, every pose felt so good to me so yeah. i was moaning so she said it was my moaning that got all those guys hooked on yoga i can see that yeah i can so see i that. still do that now so sometimes people in the front row will hear me moan we'll and hear you moan it just so you good. need to warm up to do yoga absolutely yeah, I've injured myself just sometimes, like just getting into a pose with the class, just out of randomness or ego. Sometimes right. I'll just want to do the something with my class, and I'll injure myself. So I'm, I have to be really careful. Really? Yeah. Wow. I, yeah. I, 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 I would. I guess yeah. If you, it's like anything else, you jump into it too fast. Mm-hmm. We're not young chickens anymore. That, well, that and I always always say, yeah, got to take care of your money maker, right? So yeah, yeah. When I'm out in public and stuff, like I was out uh, last week, and this woman was standing behind me talking and talking and she's wine just went all down my backside i was so upset like where were you um it was at one of these little pubs local yeah. um but it, this wine just went all down my backside and oh. she was really apologetic and i was no big deal i stood up and it was just like i feel like i always have to like protect myself i know it's just wine yeah. but like you know i get bumped around and stuff and i Do just, you really yeah people bump into you and stuff and i just don't i like my sounds I, like you're in a really crowded place i like to take care of myself like just yeah you know i have to i don't want to get injured that's just true. make my money that's true so um and Anyways, and I love what I do. So uh, anyway, she and then she came back, and then she was standing, leaning on the chair again with this, another full glass of wine. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me! So well, I she... looked at her and I said, can you go over there now, please? Get away yeah. from me! And my friend was like, Tabitha, I just wanted her to duck under the bar. She goes, you were so firm. <laughs> I was like, I just wanted her away from me. I'm yeah, like, please get yeah. away. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I, I, you know, I have wet pants all day teaching hot yoga. I, just, I didn't want <laughs> wet pants want again. That. Yeah. Um. So. Here's one thing I've noticed about yoga. The first time I went there, I must have had, uh, I'm, I was surrounded. Oh, actually, the person in front of me had a, um, they must have ate beans that night or something. Oh, boy. So how do you handle that? I mean, I'm sure you've gone into some places where the smell is just I don't know atrocious. how it happens, but I, I always get people with gas in the front row. <laughs> I'm like, why? Why? You know? So do you have professional when that happens? I mean, I'm sure you get into some... People get into some poses and you just... It happens. You, you well, lose you control. Get, yeah, it, it's just, You know, I moan and some yeah. people too, you know? So, right. yeah, it's different sounds come out. It, so it just you, happens. Do you have any tricks of the trade that... Sometimes um, I'll, essential oil, I'll have an essential oil with me and I'll like put it right here or I'll put it on my wrist um, just so I can like get rid of that odor and some yeah. and what people eat sometimes you can smell that or if they drank sure. a lot the night before or whatever liquor they had is coming out of them um yeah it happens have you ever had somebody like you know again you you walk around the class a lot and if you feel like you can help in terms of a position or if somebody's a little angled and you straighten them out have you ever had somebody like go like don't touch me don't, don't oh do yeah that. i've i've gone to touch people um and people like breast cancer survivors, oh, okay. like sometimes you go to touch their shoulder and they might be tender here. Yeah. Or, um, or just sensitive about that area. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah or I've had like, uh, I used to teach free classes at Lululemon on Saturdays. And I remember there's one woman, um, I went to touch. At, went to, oh, wait, wait, at Lululemon? Yeah, they move everything to the sides and you teach them. In Lake Forest? Uh, no, Deer Park. Really? Yeah, it's really cool. I've gone to that one. I can't even see enough room in there. And so they featured my company. So I was oh. there, like featured. Uh, Are you guests. a rep? No, no, you, you I was a, a no, yeah. I was a featured uh, yoga teacher for the month. So every Saturday right. I went in and I taught a free yoga class, and it's really cool. And it was a nice way to like talk about my business. And yeah, I ended of course. Up with more people coming to my house and stuff, but um, there was one girl in particular, and sometimes women that have. Um, 
had a bad history with men or something, they might not want you to touch them. That and makes that, sense. So that it happened. I went to touch her, and she really jumped. But it was cool. She kept coming every Saturday, and yeah. by the end of the month, she was comfortable with me. She was comfortable. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. So there's just times you yeah, know, people jump, and I, I have to back off. Yeah, yeah. I don't. So I don't want to get hurt. <laughs> I hear you're an animal lover. I yeah. I, I like animals. How much of an animal lover? Um, I wouldn't say like my daughter who will probably have a farm in her house one day, but like, yeah, not that much, but I, yeah, I love uh, animals. Yeah. Are What's great. your favorite animal, a cat or a dog? Um, I like them both. Yeah. Yeah. I okay. like them both for different well, reasons. You, you were explaining that there's a certain cat out there that acts like a dog. Yes. What's that? Uh, Maine Coons. A Maine Maine Coons. Maine okay. Coon, yeah. And they act just like a dog. They don't like to be pet on. They're like dog. It's so cool. I mean, they they even play chase. They go and really they yeah. fetch. Oh yeah, they fetch. Then uh, they're just really cool. They talk. They make these chattering sounds when they sit in the windows if they see birds or people outside. They make these really? this cackling. Yeah, if you YouTube it, you'll see Maine Coon. I think I will YouTube chatter. it. If, if I had really, it hooked up here, we'd, we'd watch it right now. They do but, like this cackle sound. It's really, really? Yeah, it's really cool. But okay. um, yeah, we have two of them. They're really a joy. Yeah, yeah it's, I just, they're easy pets. Really easy. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that you would say to somebody that is hesitant to try hot yoga? What would you say? Um... Don't be afraid. <laughs> come and try it. I, everyone that tries it loves it. Like it's amazing. Like, You're right people, about that. I've had so many students come. And they're like, "That wasn't that bad." Yeah. You know, it really isn't. It's what you put into it is what you're going to get out of it. And I have people that come just to lay in the room just because they like the heat. Yeah, it feels good. I can see you know, that. people especially with arthritis, on, especially mm. on those winter days. For Absolutely, sure. if you've for got sure. arthritis or uh, joint problems, that heat feels so good. Yeah, um, it's really good for. Uh, like uh, cancer survivors or athletes that just want to come in and stretch. Uh, one woman, she's a ballerina, um, and she uh, teaches ballet all day. So it just oh, feels so good yeah, for her. She just comes and she does her own thing, and I don't care if she doesn't do my flow. She yeah. just does her own thing, and that's awesome with me. Yeah. I just love having her in the room. So you're, it seems like, like, and I guess this would fit the yoga lifestyle, you're, you're in the flow. Yeah. Just let it flow. Just let it go with flow. Yeah. yeah. Whatever happens, happens. I like that. I For like the most that. part. Um, but I do you like, I'm a, kind of a planner, so I like to plan vacations. You just said you don't plan. I, I, I can go with the flow. Oh, you're talking about in life. In life. I can go oh, okay. with the flow, yeah. But, yeah. I, I, but I, I'm a kind of a bit of a planner. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> but, but not with my work. Yeah. Have any vacations planned? I do. Where? Uh, Montana. Uh, we're going to Mon- part? Uh, Great Falls. Great Falls. Where I used to live when I was Do you like there. to camp? Like a, um, yeah, hike? I do. I enjoy camping and yeah, yeah. and hiking. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Mo- I did more of that in California. There's, yeah, I haven't really. Done I'm sure much there's of that a here. ton of it was beautiful amazing. places. It was a cool lifestyle. There. It was. Awesome. I would think Montana would be an amazing place for hunting. Oh, you got to sure. be careful though, right? Well, Wildlife. we're in Great Falls, so it's a city. Oh, I, I yeah. don't know. No, yeah, so okay. we'll be on Great Falls, Montana. So we're having our family reunion there. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that's yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Yeah. Um, so we're going there, and then um, and then I have another trip planned for my daughters and I up in Fontana. That's fun. Yeah. Oh, Fontana. Yeah. Yes. So we'll be up there for a week. Do yeah. You really like Fontana, huh? I really. The do. Abbey. You hang on. That yeah, way. yeah. My friend actually was one of the owners there. Yeah. Is he really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. It's a fun place. It's interesting. I cool. love it. Yeah, it's just a very uh, family atmosphere and yeah. Uh-huh. yeah, good restaurants. Cool. This uh, has been awesome. Well, uh, do you go to Gordy's? Of course. Yes, yeah, I got Gordy's. My, I've got my Gordy sweatshirt. You got your Gordy sweatshirt? Yeah, I'm representing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> many uh, many uh, 21-year-old nights there, yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, um, But I think we'll end it there. Okay. But the one thing I want you to do, I want you to take us out the way that you end every yoga session. Because I love you, you bring the whole third eye, oh, and God. then what do you do? And then you say something that's awesome. What do I say? I don't know. You said like third eye and let peace center yourself and... I don't know. This is your this is your show. <laughs> All right, so we'll say my favorite way to end a yoga class. Let's go with that. All right, so uh, bring your hands to your heart center. All right, and together let's take a big inhale. Open your mouth, let it out. <sighs> inhale again. Exhale, let it out. <sighs> inhale. Exhale, stick out your tongue. <sighs> Bring your thumbs to your third eye. Wherever you go today, go with all your heart or nothing at all. Om Shanti, Om Peace. Together we say Namaste. Namaste. Thank mm-hmm. you so much. This is awesome. You're welcome. Thank I you. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Uh, see you later, folks. Take care.
Tabitha Whitney. Oh, oh, where can they reach you, Tabitha, if they want to check out Crave oh, Yoga? Oh, Crave Yoga uh, on Facebook. Crave Yoga LLC, Crave Yoga Mobile. I, I have a website, but I haven't set it up yet. i got to do that. All right, cool. Yeah. I'll put on all the links. Thanks very much. Thank you. Talk to you guys later. Awesome.